Okay, this video is going to show you how to create a basic storefront by creating a header and a footer. You're first going to want to log into your seller tools and click on view edit your shop settings. Um, it's going to have you uh, re-log in and once you finish logging in with the um, login credentials it'll take you to um, your shop manager homepage. Um, what, I'm, what I'm doing here is all done um, in a PDF format. The instructions um, are pretty good, so if you prefer looking at the, uh, at the at the Word document or the PDF, go for that. If you prefer video, um, this is the same. What I'm doing now is the same as this guide. So uh, once you log into your shop manager, you're going to want to click on um, Create Home Page. It will take you to a page, and it'll say uh, Add your company name or logo here, and Add footer here. I currently don't have any listings, so nothing is showing up here. If you see something here, it's because it automatically populates um, some of your listings here, as well as the category navigation tree. It'll it'll say whatever category, um, taxonomy category, the product lives in. Um, so let's start to it. Uh, you're going to want to go into edit mode by going to the top right. Click edit this page. And you have two options for a for a header. If you have a logo, you can definitely upload the logo, but if you don't have a logo or it's not finished yet, um, you can just type in text. So you can just type in whatever your store name is. And then hit save. Um, you could also change the font, size, you know, whatever you wanted to do. Just hit save. It takes a little bit of time to, to render, um, but then you'll see the changes happen real time. So that's if you just wanted to do a quick text header. If you have a logo you want to add, you can also do that. Um, make sure everything's deleted. And then you're going to want to click on the paper clip. It says Insert Media. Click on Image Manager. Click on the Upload button here. Click Select and find the item you or the file you wish to upload. Mine's on my desktop. Going to go ahead and hit upload. Um, it does say, um, let's go back to that real quick. Um, it'll only allow JPEG, um, .jpg, .png, .jpeg, .bmp, and uh, GIFs. So if you do not, if your file extension is not one of those, it will not, it will not work. And I believe the size was how big, 200 kilobytes. Once you see the image here, you're going to want to make sure it's highlighted and click insert and you'll see it there um, by chance you might it might be defaulted to center or a line left so if you see here it's hugging the left side and if I hit save it might look a little awkward because it'll be hovering on this side and it's not going to be centered you can leave it like that if you want but I think it looks I, I prefer um, if you center it so if you wanted to center it, make sure you highlight it. You'll see the boxes and just click the Align Center button and hit Save. And that is it. Header is super easy. Footer is the exact same thing. Go to the pencil, edit content. Um, we suggest putting your company information. So uh, if you wanted to uh, thank them for visiting your store and if they had any questions, they can contact you via email or phone or both. You know, whatever you prefer. Um, I'll just do a quick message. Whoops. Let's make the font a little smaller here. I'll do four for now. Thanks for visiting my store. If you have any questions, please. And you can change the fonts however you want, uh, make it bigger or smaller, you know, whatever you really want to do. It's totally up to you if you wanted to make the contact info a little bit smaller. However you want to do it, I'll just do that. Like you, you, I think you get the idea. Um, really easy to do. Once you're done, hit save. You'll see it update. Get out of edit mode, and you will see how your storefront works. And that's it. And um, in order.
order to go live and start selling on our marketplace, you need to have this completed. So you need to have two things. You need to have a completed storefront, which is just a header and a footer, and at least one listing. Once you get those up, we can set your store active if you uh, contact us and let us know. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please email your ECC or our um, MP success team, and I will include the email in the link below, description below, sorry. Thank you.